Hello guys, what is up? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today, I'll be telling you the story of the creepiest guy who I met in high school. Um, the story begins in my sophomore year in high school. Little Mook was getting used to his private school environment. Now you guys are probably saying, Mook, you're such a loser and a snob. You went to a private school. Kill yourself. Now, I wasn't rich or anything. My grades sucked in public school. That's why I went to private school. But, let's get back on topic. So, it was Little Mook's first year at this, um, new school. And halfway through the year, this kid, his name was John, began attending. He was the usual scene slash emo kid. At first, he seemed pretty cool. And we shared some similar interests in music. Now, let's jump ahead a few weeks on a Saturday, and I was um, playing some Minecraft, and John calls me on Skype and asks if he wants to do a slumber party. Well, I just planted the seed for cancer in my um, comment section. Haha, <laughs> Mook, you had a slumber party in high school with another dude. You must be gay, you faggot. Um, so, I asked my mom if he can sleep over. She said after I clean my room. So I was on Skype, cleaning my room, talking to John about music and shit. He comes over, and immediately, he begins hitting on my sister. So, we had um, dinner, and he's still like hitting on my sister the whole time. And, like, out of nowhere, he brings up something about um, Andy Beersack. Um, and I'm not referring to Andy Ballsack. Um, that's another person. Um, yeah, maybe the same person. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> and later that night, he started acting strange, but, you know, I kind of brushed it off, and the next day, I wake up, and he gets up, he probably, I think he got up before me, I don't remember, um, and I see him in the bathroom, like, cause, you know, he wasn't really doing anything, he was just in the bathroom, with an expo marker, coloring his face, I mean, like, dude, He's coloring his face with a fucking expo marker. Now, I'm just like, this is weird. This guy is creepy. This is cringe. And it begins to hurt. And, um, so, the whole day, he acts mopey. Because I think my sister rejected him or something. So it's something that, like, made him depressed. He's already had depression, but, you know, it got worse. Now... Um, hmm. We went to the movies. Like, before we leave, he even drew, like, more lines on his face. Because he was trying to act like Andy Beersack. Or he liked to say Andy Six, which was his old stage name. But, you know, you know, I, I don't even remember any of that stuff anymore. Because I think that band he was in sucks ass. Now, um, so... That was, um, the last time I ever hung out with him. And it was also the first time I hung out with him. So, you know, whatever. Um, I still talk to him to this day. But as far as I know, I think he stopped coloring his face with expo markers. And I think he, um... We, I know we still listen to the same kind of music. But I only hung out with him once. And, you know, he's chilled out since then. So... Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and for every person who likes this video, they will be getting a lifetime supply of exo markers. No scam whatsoever. Jokes aside, thanks for supporting my channel. You guys are awesome. I'll see you in the next video. Um, peace!